So now that we have everything set up, we're going to be creating our first view. So we can do this by going to app views and creating a file. We're going to call this home.blade.php. This is going to extend layouts.main. We're going to have a content section and we're going to stop it. This idea will just say home page just to make sure that everything is working. So now we have to create this layout. So we're going to create a new directory inside our views. And inside here, we're going to create a main.blade.php file. Now this is going to contain our HTML structure. So we'll have a HTML, we'll have a head and a body tag. Inside here, we're going to have a title, our to-do application. And we'll also be and we're also going to be including a style sheet. So we're going to create that now. We're going to go to our public directory. We're going to create a CSS folder and a style.css file. So just to ensure that this file is being included, we'll say body, background, black. And in here, we're going to include our style sheet. So think well equal style sheet href now what do we put in here how do we say that we want to get this file here well we're going to be using Laravel's URL class so we're going to say URL asset and then the path to this file this asset is returning the path to this public directory here so all we have to do is say CSS slash style.css so that's all well and good we have our two views here and we have our style sheet but if we go to our browser and refresh we're just being presented with the same page so we need to go to our roots file we need to delete all of this and we need to create a new root so we're going to say root get and we're going to pass an array we're going to give this the alias home and we're going to use the home controller at get index. If you don't know what this does, it's basically telling Laravel to detect when the user visits this URL, in this case, the home page. When it does, it's going to execute the code in this controller and this method. So with your default installation of Laravel, you should have this controller here already. If you don't, then create it. We're going to rename this method. And inside here, we're going to change this view to the view that we just created, which is home.blade.php. We don't actually have to include the extension. We just have to include the view name. So if we return to our browser and hit refresh, there you go. We have our black background that we set in our style sheet. So we can remove that now. So what we're going to do here is just get the basic structure sorted out for our application. So the first thing we're going to do is add our style. So we're going to say body. We're going to set the font to Helvetica Arial Sans Serif. We're going to set the font size to 15 pixels. And we're also going to set the body padding to 20 pixels zero. And we're also going to set background. So what else do we need? Well, we need a container. So we'll do that now. We want this to be responsive. So we're going to set a width, which is a percentage, 60%. but on a large screen, 60% is quite large. So we want to set a max width also. We'll set this to 300 pixels. We're also going to center the container with margin zero auto. And we're also going to set the background to white. We also want to add a border. One pixel solid CCCCCC, which is a lightish gray. And we also want some padding here. 
and let's just also add some CSS3 effects so we'll add a border radius and a box shadow RGBA000 which is black and we're going to add a transparency of 0 0.1 I'm not going to bother adding the vendor prefixes but if you're going to use this on a live site then you probably will want to now for now this will do but we're going to come back here and add to it eventually so we're going to close these files and we're going to return to our main view here we're going to create the container that we just styled and inside here we're going to yield content so we're saying grab whatever's inside these tags here and print it out so if we go to our browser and refresh there we go we get this if we change it to hello world we get hello world 